Hello friends, my name is Kamlesh and in this video I'm going to show you how we can configure the kernel core dump utility on Red Hat 7. So in this video session we will be going to install the required RPM packages and we'll make the changes to the configuration file and we'll try to trigger some SysRQ and we'll see if that if we'll trigger some SysRQ and crash the kernel and we'll see if that captures any core dump or not. So the RPM which is responsible for installing the for the KDump utility is KXEC. RPM tools. So this back RPM is not installed. So I have a local YUM repository set up. So let's install this tool and we'll see how we can configure it. So the RPM is installed successfully. There is a configuration file for the main configuration file for the KDAMP is etc kdump.conf which has a lot of uh, options and there are some default settings which are enabled by default. So as you can see the default path which is set as a war crash and if you would like to redirect your war crash kernel to some raw device you can un uncomment these lines and make the changes but I'm going to stick with the default settings and we'll see how it works. So this is a the default file for the kernel kdump etc kdump.conf and to enable the kdump we have to modify the file which is in grub sudo vi etc default grub.com grub sorry so in this file if you go to line number six there is a grub command line there is a crash kernel default value which is set to auto I'm going to change the settings to the 128 megabit. So again, this memory will be allocated for the storing kernel core dump. Again, this memory allocation depends upon the physical available memory which is available on your machine. So after making the changes to the grub.conf, let's update the grub configuration. sudo grub to make config hyphen o boot grub to so once the changes are done let's enable the kernel core dump utility with the system ctl so start kdump service this might take a couple of seconds to start the service so once the service gets started we'll enable it at during the boot time and then we will reboot our machine and once the system because we need a, a reboot to have this kernel core dump enabled upon the uh, to to capture the logs so once the system comes up we will try to crash the kernel with manual sysrq we'll trigger the sysrq which will cause our system to crash and we'll see if it is logging any crash kernel to our default location under the war crash okay so system says this service has been started successfully let's check the status of the service okay the service is started let's enable the service during the boot time as well so the system ctl enable kdump dot service okay so system the service is enabled at the during the boot time and Let's check the default location with a war crash and we'll see if okay so there is nothing in it so to enable the crash the changes uh, the com what are changes we are made to etc default and we need a reboot so once the system comes up we, it should be able to log the kernel core dump if if the system crashes so let's proceed with the reboot and uh, after reboot we will trigger the SysRQ and we'll see how it works
let's open the terminal and we'll check the status of the service once again sudo systemctl status kdump.service okay our service is active and it's running so let's trigger the sysrq manually and we'll see how it works so let's switch to root and send echo one proc sys kernel sysrq and echo c proc sysrq so the sysrq triggers it will trigger the sysrq and our system will get crash and it will reboot once again so after reboot we will see uh, if it logs any uh, it captures any kernel or not before let's check the content of the var crash once again var crash so there is nothing in it let's trigger the command once again sysrq so it's a proxys rq trigger so it's a eco c keep in mind so eco c sys uh, it's a slash block proc slash sysrq trigger okay the sysrq has triggered my system has crashed and it is rebooting once again so after the reboot we'll see if it is the configuration what we have made if it is successful it is able to capture any logs or not let's open the terminal and see let's go to cd war crash okay, as you can see it has created a directory with the local loopback ip address with the current date and time and we can see it says capture the war vm core for the manual trigger which we have done if you see the date the timestamp it is 10.08 and we trigger it just a couple of minutes back so we have successfully configured the kernel core dump and the system captures the core dump for the crashes which happens thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel if you have any feedback and suggestion please do let me know so it can help me to improve my videos and keep watching my channel thank you once again